you guys. As you can see, I uh, just installed this centrifuge, and um, I installed it, like I said, on the side of my fender behind the access panel for the hood. I'll step back so you guys can see. And um, as you can see, I used a one inch floor plate for a fuel tank. And there's, there's uh, where your feeder line is. I mean, your drain back down here. And then there's your uh, your feeder line for your oil pressure to get the thing to operate, this is the centrifuge. As you can see, there's a T that goes down into the block. Uh, and, this is, and this is gravity drained, of course. So I'll try to get a good, as best I can with what I got uh, of underneath there. And then my turbo, because of the T, runs around just by the starter there and back into that T so that that turbo is allowed to drain back freely. Now you can see I'm running my line. Well, on this side, I have to put another um, uh, zip tie there. And then I'll go around to the other side here and I'll show you um, where uh, I tied into the oil sample port on this. You guys can see that. And then I'm going to start the truck up. I had to warm it up a little bit with that thing to get going to the camp. Still thick. After I tie it in into the oil stamp port, that's the feed line for the centrifuge. And uh, now we're going to fire it up so you guys can see there's no oil pressure change. So here we go. We're going to fire her up. Hit the go button. There we go. And there's your oil pressure. We're reading about 60 psi. It's about 90, 85, 90 when it's cold. So now that it's hot, um, the, you know, no, no, no noticeable oil changes in pressure, or no uh, oil change uh, or pressure in oil, uh, no oil pressure change at all. Sorry guys, a little bit of a start bug. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have my miss come over and shut the truck off so I can show you this. Go ahead and go over there and cut it off. And uh, as you see, where I'm working at, my truck's in the field, so it gets to be a pain when it's bad weather. The snow just started, so we're trying to get this thing shut. But we're going to shut her down. And you guys can hear the uh, centrifuge wind down so you see this operating. This thing's pretty warm, pretty hot. It's waiting on her to. Go ahead and get in. And there she is, winding down and trying to get as best to so uh, the sound as best I can. And that's her winding down. And there you go. And uh, like I said, I used some my boots off of my old wheel cylinders for uh, cushions to help with the vibration really don't vibrate that bad except when you shut it off and there you go and that's the install and i'll try like i said I'm, there there's another angle of and that's the uh, in front that front hose is for the slobber tube but the ones in back that's where i tied everything in and um it really it, it wouldn't be the install wouldn't have been too bad if i had to didn't have to monkey with a lot of this stuff to, uh, because I couldn't find the correct fittings. Um, the other thing I did have to do is I had to trim my um, turbo drain back tube. The one behind, it's directly behind that slobber tube you're seeing on my turbo. And, um, but other than that, it, it was a pretty fairly straightforward um, install. Like I said, it was, it just goes right into the oil sample port. And you, as you can see, when I fired her up, it's just oh, excuse me and i shut her off it it spun right back down so all right guys that's it for now um we'll uh we'll see you next time